What is up guys, it's Wayne from Fade to Black. Now this has to be one of the worst back windows I have ever had to deal with. Now if you check this back glass out, it is nasty. You can see there's bubbles all over it. I do not know why, or I cannot explain why it does that. Why it just goes in a tunch, bunch of just little bubbles all over the glass. Um, obviously the adhesive failed, so it's not sticking to the glass anymore. But why doesn't it just fall off in big sheets? compared to just little bitty tiny bubbles. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you tint windows or if you know about windows and you know why this is happening. But obviously, the customer brought it in to get it fixed. You can't be riding around with tint like this because honestly, this is a safety hazard. You can't even see through the rear glass. So this is definitely a safety thing we gotta deal with. The rest of the car looks good. She just wants me to fix this, so that's what we're gonna do. So I got my steamer fired up. It's getting hot. We're gonna go ahead and strip this window put some clean tint on it and she'll be good to go. So check it out. All right, so now you can see that this tint is coming off and it's leaving all the glue behind on the glass. So basically, my steamer is not gonna do anything. And this is coming right off. Now, it's totally full with the adhesive that's on the glass. So now I'm gonna have to get some chemical and strip all this uh, old glue off. So let's see how that goes. So I got this stuff called Super Stripper. I used to get it from Flex Film. I honestly, I don't have that much of it left, but I like this stuff a lot better than uh, what some people, they like to use that awesome stuff from Dollar General. I mean, that stuff works, but this stuff you spray it on there leave it let it sit in there for a while it kind of feels like it eats um, the glue away a little bit more um, so I will be ordering more of this I got some I'm gonna spray it on there see how much I can get done with this um, but then I'll go back to the LA awesome stuff and see if that can get taken care of All right, so I got the whole back glass sprayed with Super Stripper. I'm just gonna leave that sit on there for a while. I'm gonna let that stuff uh, just bite into that old glue and hopefully this will get it done for me. Maybe a little bit of steel wool scrubbing, but I'm hoping if I'm patient, this will get it done. So I actually went over this back window two more times. I sprayed two more um, applications of Super Stripper on there. I took a little plastic squeegee. I'm sorry, I took a little plastic card and I kind of roughed up some of the, the glue. It's coming off pretty good. You can see in little areas it is coming off well. It's still a lot more that needs to be removed, but I'm just trying to be patient and let that Super Stripper eat that stuff away. Um, and then I think we'll be able to get this back guys cleaned up pretty well. Not too much craziness, not too much crazy work, and then uh, get the new piece reinstalled.
right, so I've been fighting with this window maybe about 15 minutes now. I do still have some small little areas of glue on, on the back window. Yeah, I probably should have waited just a little bit until I was done cleaning the glass before I put my soap on the back window to shrink, um, just so I could be able to see through the glass and see kind of what I'm missing. So I still have some areas of glue here that need to, I can see inside of the glass yet here that I need to take care of because um, you're going to see that in the tent if I don't clean that off. So what I'll probably do now is I'll spray some more. Uh, I'll probably spray some LA Awesome on there since I ran out of my Super Stripper. I got some steel wool that I had in my bag. You can see the steel wool there. I'll probably go ahead and keep scrubbing this window. Try to get it, I gotta get it as clean as possible before we lay the new film over here. So I got a little bit of area still I need to clean up. You can see in this corner, there's some crap down in here. So yeah, stripping a window is a pain. So this is one of the reasons why you tell people that you just don't know how much to charge for a rear glass removal because if it would have came off in one piece, I would have been already shrinking this window already. But now I gotta sit here and deal with stripping glue for probably about another 20 minutes. I'm grabbing chemicals, I'm grabbing steel wool. It is, uh, it's a dirty job, but I guess somebody has to do it. But it's hard to tell people the exact amount when you don't know how much time you're gonna spend on the glass. So now I'll get some more stuff on this back glass and I'll keep scrubbing and cleaning. stripped it out. I think this window is pretty good now. I've cleaned it. I've used my, um, <coughs> I used some Super Stripper. I used some LA Awesome. I used steel wool. I think the window is ready to go right now. I got this thing probably as clean as I can get it. Now keep in mind, I still have my, my soap on here so I can shrink the back glass. I kind of was ahead of myself. I should have waited. Um, but I think this window is clean. It's good to go. <coughs> I have that chemical to breathe that in. But uh, now I'm gonna get the film on there, get it shrunk, get it installed, and this customer will be good to go.
this one was a little rough, but like I said, you take your time, be patient, you can get it done. It took a while, man. I had to do a lot of scrubbing, I had to do a lot of steel wooling, I had to do a lot of cleaning, a lot of checking, but I think it came out pretty good, man. Leave a comment below if you ever deal with stripping out back windows like this. All other stuff was just nasty. It was, it needed to get taken care of. She brought it in to get done, so now I think it looks good. Um, if you guys got any questions on how I did this or any question about processes, like I said, this might not have been the best process, but this is typically what I do. I mean, it's a dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. I don't think it's any really best way to get it taken care of, but this is what works for me. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, hit that bell so you do not miss any notifications, and I'll be back with another video when I get time, but you guys know what to do. Stay faded. Peace.